Good bless this Saturday, uh, March the 19th, 2022. It's about 1.40 uh, p.m. Uh, we here at the Gas Light Apartment in Carbondale, Illinois, uh, Jackson County. One year ago, my son, Brian Lamont Johns, was found in this very building right here in the Gas Light's apartment on the uh, third floor in the hallway hung. Uh, I don't believe he hung himself, and I don't believe anybody here that's in this video believe he hung himself because everybody in here in this video uh, know him. But uh, we want to just uh, thank all the individuals that's in here uh, that's, that's uh, taking time to come uh, have a little slight light uh, memorial for my son. And I'm going to let them tell you who they are. You all speak out loud. Who going to go for ladies first? So my name is Amanda. Um, I, I knew of Brian and I had heard about him. They were really friends with uh, this Brian and Dan. But when I heard the story of what happened to him, I knew that there was something that just wasn't right. And I know that the police department around here is very, very corrupt. So that's how I got involved. Yeah, they, they say the, the truth is like, uh, it's like the bubbles in the glass of champagne. It always comes to the surface, <laughs> no matter what. It's, it's going to be there. It's going to come to the surface, and we're all going to be there for that. All right. Let Speak up Danny. a little loud. Let them know your name. And My name's Danny. I was a good friend of Brian's, and uh, he didn't kill him, so. Didn't okay. Him, so I know you, you opened your doors to my son every now and then, didn't you? Almost every day. Because you, you don't look down on a person because they homeless, on drugs, because they black, or, or they've been to prison. You don't look down on them. Like, no. you, you, you consider all people human beings, don't you? Yes, sir. Uh, Queen and Bertie, y'all want to say something? You gotta talk loud now. Take um, that mask off, boo. Um, I just wanna thank everybody for. I was gonna thank them for coming down here for my brother, and I just wanna thank everybody for like everything. I, I, I just wanna thank everybody for everything. Um, and we love and appreciate all y'all. All right, Queen. Talk a little louder, baby. Brother, I, I, we miss our brother dearly, and I want to thank all of y'all for coming over here with us today, and we appreciate all y'all help. Can one of y'all help Amanda hold that up, or can you get it up there, man? Go ahead. Y'all see what we got here? That's justice for Brian Lamont Johns. Uh, rest in peace, 927, 1990, uh, I mean, 75 to 3, uh, 1921. Uh, Queen, one of y'all don't want to get in here with them myself, too. I want to thank each and every one of them. Brian, I, I thank I thank Brian uh, uh, for not being amongst people. And I'm not saying all people, not being amongst people that, that look at a person because they homeless, that look at a person because they uh, black, look at a person because they've been on drugs, look at a person because... Uh, They've been in prison. Uh, he, he, he had the time to communicate with me about my son, and I appreciate it. Amanda, the same thing. And those of you all that said that I'm prejudiced or racist, Amanda, you and Brian, y'all follow me on uh, YouTube. Uh, do you think at any, at any time that I be racist or, you know, do you think I'm a violent person? You ain't saying yeah. I'm nobody. Even when you seen people attacking me, right. you know, I just stand my ground. Right. And do have you noticed when, when I criticize people, I criticize people black and white. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I don't I, I criticize the NAACP here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The same with this this brother right here. I call him my brother. All us brothers. God made careers in the beginning. He created human beings, you know. Man gave us different races. But but Dan the same same way when when Brian and Amanda I've seen uh, we trying to fight for justice. They they introduced me to Dan and Dan what Dan didn't mind talking to me about my son. You know, 
I know my son wasn't perfect, but I don't think my son ever, since living in Carbondale, he never hurt anybody, I mean, physically. I mean, he, he, he maybe got into a fight, but he, yeah. I don't think he ever killed anybody. You see what I'm saying? Uh, when when my son, you know, he, he might have got high, but is it a lot of people in this town get high? Matter of fact, this building, oh, where well, it's around the corner. I'm going to go around the corner, maybe. But I appreciate them for coming, and I want to I wanna say this is 400F. Uh, 31-36 Oakland Street. This is where my son was found with no t-shirts on, no shirts on, on this same day, but the last year in March, on March the 19th, it was about 40 something degrees and it was much colder. He was found with his hand balled up with paper money in it. Now can you imagine your hand, you done hung yourself and money balled up in your hand in the corner have to pry it open. I don't know if this door is open or not. Let me see for one minute, y'all. I just want to see something for one minute. Oh yeah, it's, it's locked. But on the third floor, he was, he was found hung and there's no logical way that he could have hung himself. And I, I want y'all to step around here for one minute with me. One of y'all carry that for him. Show this here first, too. The gaslight apartment. Then show this that corner here. Now, show me something that don't make no sense to me over here. Is, you know he was on the third floor hanging over there. That's on the Oakland side. That's, that's on uh, North Oakland. This is West Sycamore. Right in front of this building on the third floor, a female had his teeth two t-shirts. Now here around the corner here, and she had his two t-shirts. Down the street, you see where that uh, big red building is? If you look to the uh to the right, straight ahead where you see a yellow like uh, little house or something over there. His wallet was found way down there. A female says she found it a couple of days after he, after his death. Three of his ribs was fractured. His, his left hand cut from here to here, a straight incision, like a surgery. Now I worked on the ambulance. If it's cut like that there, wherever it got cut at, if he was alive, blood gonna skirt out. You see what I'm saying? If he dead when you cut it, Ain't no bub uh, pumping, so it ain't gonna come out. He had blood, one spot drop of blood on his pants right here. One drop of blood right here. The side of his, his thigh was as if he was dragged, it was scraped. And then now he was a drug addict. Now they say he had uh, a high doses of methamphetamine in him and uh, antidepressants. Now he's a drug addict with money in his, balled up in his hand, but guess what else? That the police didn't find. That the CSI uh, uh, a lady didn't find. But the lady that was taking the, uh, uh, the autopsy found drugs in his socks, bags of drugs. Ain't that something? Bags of drugs. Now, you see this building right here? I want y'all to look at it real good. I don't, I don't care who, I don't care who live in it. But this house, before them boards was up there, it was a crowd of people in there. I'm talking about people that was homeless, using drugs. Every last one of them in there knew my son. Did you know Brian? I'm not actually come to say hi again. It's weird. Oh. I might come to see a friend. Oh no 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 no! You all and right? I you you to remember? To you, again. you 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 uh, you remember my son Brian? Yes, I was on your video. Okay, that's right. You want you want to say? Do you think Brian got uh, killed? Um, I, know, I know he did not. Oh, put it on. You say you know he did. You know him, didn't you? Yes, I did. Huh? Yes, I did. He, he got high, but he wasn't suicidal, was he? No. You ever you ever seen a person that he with their like, hand? He, he was also one that looked more at life, like no, he did. I just he didn't kill himself. I appreciate it. But but all them people in there, all of them knew my son. 
And I don't look down on them because they was using drugs, but I, I just wanted to say, all of them said they know he didn't. And they all of them come back to a sergeant by the name Draper that they said is corrupted. You see what I'm saying? And I believe the police had something to do with my son because his T-shirts was off. They was up in here at this girl's apartment here. At first, she said at 8 o'clock in the morning when she talked to the police, she done moved out. Now, she disappeared. The people didn't even know. Three months later, she done disappeared. The people don't know. They didn't even know she had moved out. But, uh, and then the drug addicts right here, they was hanging out with her. And I believe my son was in there getting high with her. You see what I'm saying? Her old man probably came. They strangled him because she was on drugs. She was one out of, uh, out of all these apartments in the Gaslight apartment, the homeless shelter, the women's uh, shelter thing, uh, the women's center got two females apartments in these apartments and she was one of them. Ain't that coincident? And then she tells some of the residents, oh, he was, he was just one of them uh, crackheads. How you know what my son was when you first said originally that his shirt t-shirts was in front of your door when the police was around the corner. But then when I made my videos and saying, you say you found his t-shirts in front of your door at eight o'clock in the morning on the second floor in here, you say you found his mask and downstairs on the first floor where that fire extinguisher is at, you said a side fire extinguisher was missing. It was glass down here. And right here, she done took pictures before the police even got my son out of there. It was an axe right here, and I got all the pictures. An axe right here, and she happened to take pictures of this, that, but then when I when I came back and went, went over the scene again, all of a sudden the detective, uh, 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 Dunnigan, came back to her again, and she changed the story. Guess what her story was? She said, uh, no, it was 11 o'clock when I found the T-shirts, and I remember because I had a food delivery coming from Walmart uh, at 12 o'clock. So I came downstairs at guess what time? You got a, a food delivery at 12 o'clock and you come downstairs at 11, 13 in the midst of winter with no shoes on. She said, oh, I forgot I didn't have no shoes on. So I went back upstairs. Do that sound logical to any of y'all? It don't sound logical to me. But you know one thing about it. We appreciate everybody that came out. See, one thing about it, it don't make no difference how many people. It shows that some people care about my son. Can all of y'all let her get y'all and say, peace be still. Peace be still. Hey, hey, we love y'all. Peace out. Me and my family want to thank um, Brian and Amanda from Carbondale for making this beautiful thing for my brother. It says, peace be still in loving memory of Brian Lamar Jones.